All right, we're back. We're down in uh, Chuck Darnell's basement, and there's Chuck Area himself. 51. Yeah, this is Area 51. This and as it. you can see behind him, there is just there is just killer model stuff everywhere. He's got lots and lots of great old vintage kits, original box kits. I mean, there's just so much you can't take it all in. He's, he's just got a, such an incredible collection of stuff down here. But we're going to focus this video. We're going we're gonna to start out with this giant rat fink. This is uh, one of the big, massive aluminum rat finks from Mexico. Is that where those are? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a knockoff. And, um, but Chuck did a ton of body work on these things. When they, most of these that you see, they're just, they're not great. The, the bodies are bad on them and the paint is horrible on them. And uh, Chuck went all out uh, painting this sucker up, as you can see. That's all House of Colors candy paints. He's flaked to the max. I mean, you look at the, the flake in that base and the, all over the skin. But then a buddy of Chuck's came and did the pinstripe work on it, and that's gold leafing on the uh, the RF on his belly. And uh, Chuck did a lot of, of filling and patching and sanding and uh, to get this in the condition that, that it's in. But I, I don't think I've ever seen one of these in any better paint than this one. I mean, it's just just killer. Back there on the wall behind that, the, the lettering, the RF lettering, that was done by Mike Babel. Mike's a mutual friend of ours, and um, these are these are really 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 cool Get those back there the big RF letters and Chuck's Chuck's got memorabilia everywhere he's got more stuff waiting to go up here um, you can see he's got uh, some one of my favorite John pieces uh, yeah, Franco piece by Von Franco did some great stuff there love it he did one of John Mitchell's John Mitchell's pieces. Love that piece. Yeah, that's a great one. Uh, Got to pull up my Sonic Fly here that he did for me. Um, yeah, these are all have to go on the wall yet. Some great stuff. Oops, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I hit your arm. There's a valve cover, a Rat Fink valve cover racer. Got the Rat Fink green wheels and painting Some on there. Ben Mitchell. Yeah, there's some of Ben Mitchell's Rain stuff, the, the Sonic Fly. Also, Chuck came up with that idea and uh, he uh, knocked it out of the park. He definitely brought it, brought it to life. And then he did, uh, the, did thund the Thunder, thunder Pig. Pig. Yeah. yeah, the Thunder Pig is a, a very obscure resin model kit, which Chuck's got upstairs in his cabin, but uh, John did the artwork for that just to replicate it. Of course, there's one of Sonny Palma's posters. And all down the wall here, Chuck's just got little some... Johnny Jalopy, uh, original uh, Ed Roth, airplanes. Got a little bit of everything. Helicopters. <laughs> but we're going to focus on this cabinet right now because this cabinet is full of really great stuff, really obscure stuff. Uh, is this Sandpiper? Is that the name of that one? Sandpiper, the surf, yeah. yeah, the Sandpiper, little woody, comic, comical woody wagon. In the back there, there's a couple of boss bike kits. Uh, there's some of Tommy Moore's little resin pieces, which Chuck just killed it on the paintwork and detail on those. They look really good. Yeah, and he's, he's got a lot of really unusual stuff. Now this one, Suicide Sam, this was a resin kit. This thing is huge. And Chuck, uh, had the surfboard made for and added a lot of details to this. Uh, he's really cool. He put the hair on there and added the little red fink bike down there. And then of course we got some great stuff, the Tom Daniel Cherry Bomb. That's uh, Tom's flapjack. Now Chuck has got, has cornered the market on flapjacks. He's got <laughs> <laughs> a full inventory. He's making his own uh, Air, Air Force squadron yes. of uh, flapjacks right now. That's one of his current projects. But foreign countries uh, beware. Right, right. <laughs> Red Finks are flying in, and of course these Dave Deal kits. Some of the other Tom Daniel kits. The little Snapdragon kits. I love this one with the the tiger paint job. But there in the back too, that little yellow thing. That is a, a like a toy based on a Dave Deal caricature. That's just something you don't ever see. And then of course the swine hunt. That's probably the toughest, toughest uh, one of those to get to find at all. 
right now. And that cheetah in the back there, that it's resin, right? Uh, yeah. The cheetah's resin. That's a Japanese kit, I believe. Yeah. That's um, good. But that was authorized by Dave Deal, I think. It right? was, yes it was. Yeah, and uh, Chuck has a little teeny miniature version of that too that's incredible. I mean, it's literally matchbox size, completely detailed. There's another van. And this, the funny bug, funny car, that's that's one of the rare Volkswagens and he chopped it up and made it into <laughs> a drag car. I mean, who the hell does that? And that Chuck would. Mm. That's the miniature Cheetah um, for motorcycle. Very small. I have one upstairs that's a build up, um, which is a smaller version of the one in the cabinet. Well, there's one of the super zingers back there. That's the, the fire engine, and he's got lighting and sound in that one, too. Blinking lights. And then up here in this little cabinet, he's got a lot of, uh, these are a lot of this, the 132nd scale. Uh, what is it? A little bit of everything there, right? Monogram. Uh, monogram, uh, Aurora. This is a 1911 Chevrolet. There was very few of these made. Uh, General Motors didn't follow through. Uh, just to make a long story short, that's a very, very highly sought after and very rare model. This is an old vintage uh, Snapdragon Aurora. That's uh, always like the one that everybody's looking for. Um, salvage that one. Tweety Pie. I love it. Is that, no, that's not the Sizzler, that's the... Uh, that's the, uh, I forget the name of that one. I forgot, they, they gave it a name similar. I keep thinking Gumball or something, but it's uh, not Yeah. Of course, that's an original Moon Eyes drag, so that's probably, was that put together from like the parts packs? Uh, it was, actually, uh, we have a building bowl on the KKIM uh, club, and uh, we have a building bowl down here, and I built that at one of the building bowls, so. That's really cool. Yeah, an old Aurora Ramrod. Yeah, so that's all I'm, I'm just, I'm going to, I'll just cruise along this wall just a little bit so you can get a look at some of these uh, incredible old kit boxes here. There's just a little bit of everything, but uh, a lot of the old three-in-one kits. And, um, I hope I'm not shaking like crazy because of all the coffee <laughs> I've had today. Jones and man. Uh, This wall, there's some deals, wheels, kits, a little bit of everything. Chuck's got some uh, some great stuff here. I mean, a lot of this stuff. And he's got a lot of fun stuff too. Flintstones, Wacky Racers. There's a lot of these kits you just don't hardly ever see them anymore. And I don't. This isn't probably all of his really rare stuff. Anyway, all right, so I'm going to cut this one short now and uh, be back with a third episode here in just a little bit and we'll do a couple more cabinets. So that's it for now.